Welcome back to the Wally build. Um, I know it's been a while since we posted the last couple videos. The last uh, couple months have been a little weird, but we're going to hopefully be posting a lot more about Wally here and this build. So I just want to talk about what we've been uh, doing most recently. So right now we use um, these gears on the motor. So it's kind of has a D shape on there. Um, but these kept, uh, they slip like every couple um, times we use it. And I know uh, the original creator of this thing uh, would glue these onto the axles, but we didn't want to do that. So instead, um, we found a special coupler here online. Um, uh, so you can look you can look that up on, we bought them from Robot Shop because they're pretty cheap. And then we just modified that gear so it has the um, a spot for it to sit in here. And then we can access the set key um, through the actual side of it right there. There's some holes. If you can kind of maybe see, there's some holes there we can access the set screw um, once it's bolted onto here. And then we can put that on the axle back inside of there. The other thing um, is to make sure that you use these. Um, so you can see that these pieces on the side are actually longer than um, usual because they extend all the way back up into here. And that is actually just to help keep this track from getting sucked up around um, on there because that kept also causing issues and try to break the treads off all the time. So having that there helps to make sure that tread doesn't go around with it, especially if you're using the flexible filament like we are. LED charging level on the front of the robot. Um, I finally finished the uh, new LED matrix, so I had to custom build one of these because the other one was just too wide, and the only place I could find was on AliExpress or Alibaba, and I didn't really want to wait around to try to find someone that was going to sell me some of those because all the minimum quantities for a lot of those were over 100. So it's all soldered onto the board as well. I would not recommend this board as you can't use normal header pins to stick into these or anything. Um, and then for the faceplate on here, we actually, I ended up having it so I uh, made the walls stick out a little bit over the lettering. Um, that was just way so I could print it on the printer and then after the fact I could just sand it down and make it nice and smooth. And that still allowed the light to come through and I did that because it just helps to support the letters. Alright, so we somehow managed to get all of these actually finally done. Um, it looks a little bit wild, the camera's not focusing great. All around the water tank, waiting for a train, a thousand miles away from home, sleeping. We actually filled these with wax, it just helps to kind of defuse the light and make it look a little better. Um, you can't see right here, but there's also words. And the little light right here, little panel for the lights on the front um, installed. So we painted that black and everything. Turned out a little more gray than black than I was hoping, but it's fine. Um, I think that's going to be the easiest. So, yeah. Alright, so we got the panel installed. I'm just testing it one more time before I do all the finished work, um, soldering it and hot gluing all the parts in there. And then as for a couple of the um, upcoming projects, so right now we use a battery to um, power the motors and everything and then we have a USB charger here that powers the Raspberry Pi. Um, so we're going to be buying a converter so we can take the power off this um, and convert it to the 5 volt USB that we need for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I just don't like using the power off the Arduino or anything, number one, because that's just a lot more power draw off the Arduino. And second, if we're using um, one that's specially made for it, it'll help to make sure there's no surges to that Raspberry Pi. And the other thing is, to, the other thing, um, is we're hoping to build this arm for Wally here pretty soon. And this has another three or four servos on it, plus all the servos on the arms um, are gonna need five volts as well. So we're gonna need something to convert the power down because the Arduino's not gonna be able to put out that much power. So we're looking at buying one of those um, little uh, converters here in the upcoming videos. And then also getting to finally finish this arm as well. So it should have a couple um, ranges of motion. So it'll be able to move that piece back and forth. Hopefully the servo back on the end here will also move the end. And then we have the claw, which we're gonna redesign this piece of the claw just because it's not a great design right now. It was just kind of something we had for testing. Um, so hopefully we'll have that arm done in the next video and we'll be able to start testing with that. So I look forward to putting out the next video.